Let's have a look at his short clip of Scott Manley, super space fan, discussing the flat Earth. Now, I'd had a conversation with Scott for maybe five years ago regarding the shape of the Earth. And a few things stuck out about Scott. One, he seems like quite a nice fella, to be fair. He's also very knowledgeable about his heliocentric space and rocketry. But the main thing that stuck out was Scott's misrepresentations about people like myself. Of course, put there by the mainstream media. Scott believed in them blindly. So a large part of our interaction involved me correcting Scott about what he perceived someone like me was about and was stood by. So I'm curious, all these years later, to see whether or not Scott has wisened up a bit to the propaganda and the misrepresentations about someone like me. The space airfix models in the background would suggest not. But let's have a look. Uh, I write for many of us. What do you think is behind all the flat earth nonsense? I think that the... Um, well, I, I was going to make some joke about the, the horizon is behind them. That doesn't mean... I wouldn't even go there, Scott. The horizon makes an absolute mockery of your spinning, wobbling pantomime flying through a vacuum. Can he? Yeah, never mind. Let, ha, flat Earth. Look, people want to believe things. Scott, for some bizarre, weird reason, I wanted to believe that I lived on the outside of a cannonball flying through a vacuum. Why? Because I was taught that at school, even though I questioned it years and years ago with a passion. It turns out, just like I thought, the globe is scientifically impossible. Right. If people are conditioned to want to agree and believe things that reinforces their worldview and there's a we're already, I don't know, we're going into the realms of Dunning-Kruger already here, talking about belief, and he's got airfix models of spacecraft behind him. Oh, dear. A lot of reasons why people might believe the world is flat, but a lot of it's just to do with not trusting the world that you see. No, it's purely to do with the science that is cited that says the globe is true is laughable. Real world science tells us the globe is impossible, Scott. I mean, there's all, right, first of all, there are a bunch of people out there just trolling for giggles. And, you know, more power to you, but there's a lot of people who genuinely believe that the, the world is flat. And more importantly, they believe that it is flat because there's some sort of secret cabal that is messing with the world as we know it. And that explains why they have been such a failure at life. That's one thing that is very popular. What? What? Have you had that airfix superglue out again, Scott? Is it? Is that a small room there? Is there fumes in that room? Are you, are you feeling okay? What? If you've had some problems achieving success, if you can blame it on some big conspiracy theory, that really helps. Another... Wow. So clearly Scott is not learned whatsoever. He's just doubled down on his delusions. Wow. Uh, ex another reason, piece of reasoning I heard, and this is very specific to a conversation I had with someone uh, who was a believer and had later said they were not a believer in Flat Earth, was that uh, they were raised like in a very strict Christian environment and one of their teachers basically told them that if the world can be explained by science, then it makes God less important. Therefore, reality doesn't need explanations. It presents itself to us exactly as it is. Tested, verified by every single person on Earth. Large standing bodies of water, Scott, do not have the ability to display convexity upon its surface not an opinion a fact my airfix loving friend they were arguing that flat earth had to be true because it made god more amazing and 
first of all, I think that argument's bogus because I think if if you're like a real super badass god, you're going to create a universe that's 17 billion, whatever, 56 billion light years across with hundreds of billions of galaxies and stars and stuff. like. You're not going to create a tiny little disc like this with a dome over it, right? And there we have it. He still believes in the propaganda. Scott, I know you... Well, it's become obvious that you need to believe in that propaganda, that silly model put out there by the mainstream media, to justify your silly pantomime space belief. You know, I, yeah, I don't think there's any compatibility problems there, but that's that's one another example that I very specifically heard. I think it's just compelling to some people, and I think it's also interesting there was that documentary that basically showed a lot of flat earth people had sort of slipped sideways into the Q-verse. <laughs> Have they? None that I know. Most of the people that I know were very aware of what that was all about. More misdirection, propaganda and divide. So no, I have to disagree with you there again, Scott. So you're continuing to deny reality and what is demonstrably true. You're continuing to believe the propaganda to justify your airfix model heliocentric space fetish. You can't be honest, even though people like myself have communicated with you in the past and highlight what we stand by, and that can be tested and verified by all. I thought better of you here, Scott. I honestly did. It just seems like you've doubled down on your Dunning-Kruger, your airfix models, and your fantasies. And that's fine. A lot of people think I'm an anti-vaxxer and, and, and point a stick at me. I'm pro-choice. So if you want to believe in things that are scientifically impossible, that's supported by airfix models, explanations and silly stories, and you want to wear a nappy on your face, I'm all up for that. You carry on. If you want to be injected with something, you carry on. But just don't expect others to go along with that. And clearly Scott here has displayed all of the qualities, sadly, that the mainstream suffer from because of TV and the education system. I don't need to entertain any anything, ego, materialism, any of that, to understand the truth of this realm. All I need to do is stand by the simple things that are true. Scott can't do that, like so many, because of his bias. He doesn't even realise most of this video he's actually been talking about himself. Very strange. I do like your crane though, Scott. I'd like you to do some demonstrable science with that, me old mate. How about you prove that tower cranes and pendulums can be dead still on a spinning ball using your crane. Lower the block down and let's see some real world demonstrable science to back your airfix model collection. Come on, Scott. Less of the delusions, the Dunning-Kruger, the biases, the airfix model glue. More about standing by the things that are obviously, fundamentally true. However painful that may be to your airfix model collection. Come on, Scott. Sort yourself out.